just talked a little bit of shit on Instagram. It was actually not shit, it was positive messages. Whenever I have like the inspiration or the energy to do so, I like to make sure that I can, you know, share something to help someone else in their life. So now I'm gonna eat a little bit of food that I got from the store yesterday. It's 10.45 right now. The sun is starting to come out. It's probably gonna be very hot as it is every day here. So I have this coconut yogurt, no sugar added, very good clean ingredients. And some of these cashews, they're, I thought they were just salted cashews, but they have like flavor on them, like coconut. Cashew nut, palm oil, salt, wheat flour, coconut milk. It's actually not bad, I ate some last night. I was munching on them last night. So I'm gonna eat a little bit, a little bit of this now and then do some computer work head out for the day not bad no sugar so it's tart um but it's not bad it has probiotics now we add our cashews i've actually been eating meals for breakfast which i didn't do for a long time after you know the whole fasting fruit raw vegan life i would just have fruit for breakfast or a smoothie but since traveling a lot of how i eat has changed my body's changed, my wants have changed, my hormones are changing, and I feel like I need different nourishment. So I've been eating like a meal for breakfast, which has been good, gives me more energy, I'm more satiated. Holy shit, my skin is so dry. What the hell? What the fuck? Oh, hell no. Nah. I'm about to go moisturize, BRB. So now I'm gonna sit down and do some computer work, some crypto shit, some visa shit, just checking up on things, sitting at this desk. Cause I think just office vibes, um, desk vibes, more professional vibes helps me focus. Like if I were to sit in the bed, I don't think I would be as focused as I would if I sat at a desk. So probably gonna do 30 minutes to an hour of work and then go outside. One of the best bands in history. This was like. This is the fitty. Nothing too crazy, actually, pretty simple. I'm traveling out of one carry on luggage, so just a lot of mix, mix matching my outfits. Yeah, bought this bag yesterday for 100 baht, which is like $1.50. So, yeah, we're gonna go to the Saturday market. I'm about to get on a Gojek or a Grab, a scooter, and go head over. I'm pretty hungry, so let's see if I can find some some goodies. Maybe start off with some some fruit. I just came back inside because as I was walking to use the map, my service stopped working. My SIM card is up. So thankfully it was pretty easy to top it up because I still had this little thing. So you just put your phone number then you just put a credit card. I paid like a dollar for more service. So stores a lot of antique stuff like furniture little home decoration but i'm looking for the food so where's the food at let's see if my 
spidey senses can guide me. And the ride here was a little bit scary. Like he was whipping it like I was wearing a helmet, but it's fine, whatever. God got me. My spidey senses guided me correctly. There's so many people here, it's so hot, but it's a vibe. Pretty cool vibe. Mango sticky rice, fried chicken, kebab, shrimps, mango. They like to do like chili fish dipping sauce with the mango and the fruit here. Fresh juices. What am I in the mood for? Let's see what catches my eye. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me because there's loud music. But I have no clue what this is. It's like curry, it's smoky, baked in a banana leaf. It's 30 bucks, so... Let's see, let's see what this is getting for. Delicious. Very, very good. Nice spice, nice flavor. Clean. Good. Coconut ice cream for the win with sticky rice, peanuts, and coconut jelly. So good. It's so hot out here. The massage was a vibe. I got these glasses. I got a screen protector for my phone. And now I'm just walking around because I want to find something to drink. I feel very dehydrated. I want like a, a tea with no sugar and that would hit the spot or just the water. And then I think I'll, I'll head out. It's very hot today, a lot of people. But it's a cool vibe. Can't complain. Pretty cool. Got a herbal tea. This is chrysanthemum flower, no sugar. <laughs> and has a little handle. All the drinks here have little handles when you get it to go, it's so cute. But I think I'm gonna head out. I don't really wanna shop more or like be in the sun around people. So let's just walk a little bit and see where I end up and then go from there. Lots of vintage clothes. A lot of cool people, cool style here. Little doggies. My back hurts, my feet hurt. Hungry. So, we're gonna head back now. Ooh, pretty. It was nice. It was a nice day. I enjoyed it. Now I just want to chill, do some more computer work, plan for my next trip, and just shower, honestly. My skin, though, I feel like a new woman without my nose piercing. It feels so mature and golden. Yeah, I'm on the way back now. Raw dogging it. Raw dogging it again. No helmet. I'm going to hold on. Walking to 7-Eleven to get some snacks and a beverage and something sweet. I'm very tired. When I got home, I just chilled in bed, was on my phone. Um, pretty low on energy, so I'm just chilling, probably gonna stay in. I ordered food, so I'm waiting for that to come. And I'm really just chilling. Some chocolate soy milk and some grass jelly. And I'm gonna mix it together and make a little drink for myself. And I also ordered food. I got some Tom Yum fried rice, which I'll show you guys. So I'm just gonna sit here, enjoy my food, maybe watch something, and just chill out for the rest of the night. It looks pretty good to me. 
you know how you can just look at certain things you just like see the flavor that's how thai food is this was 69 baht yum so one of the reasons that i travel pretty often and for long amounts of time is because travel is a part of my life it's a part of what i want to experience here while on earth i really love to explore i like to see new things i like to get out of my comfort zone i like culture i like food and i like um i like to test myself and i think travel is a really good way to do that and a lot of people view travel as vacation as a time away from your life you know a break from work but i don't see it like that um i when i view myself traveling i see it as a combination of of pleasure and growth you know it's not always easy when you travel it's not always easy to be on your own it's not always easy to budget your money and plan stuff and move so quickly and always be changing places and this and that and buy tickets and there's a lot of stress in traveling but it's also a really great opportunity to see yourself which to see what you're capable of and to handle things to trust things to to surrender <laughs> to accept that's the beauty of traveling it opens your mind so much it gives you so much patient patience so much humility broadened your perspective it's a really beautiful thing and i travel often because i don't see it as an escape from my reality it's a part of my reality i'm not running away from anything at home you know like the world is my home and you really don't need a lot of money to travel like you really don't especially when you're going places that are you know below the dollar if you're coming from america you really don't need a lot of money there's so many reasons and excuses why people say like oh I never left the country because of this. Oh, I don't travel because of that. It's just excuses. <laughs> just excuses. And if you don't have your passport, shame on you. Seriously. In 2023, like everyone should have their passport. And we should all be committing to exploring the earth more and getting out of our comfort zone, getting out of our environments that we're in every single day. And I think travel is just a beautiful medicine and do it when you feel called. Do it when things align or you're having certain inclination inclinations intuitions about going to a specific place because you never know when you travel it's like so many doors open so much new insight comes to you um it's really a beautiful process of evolving and maturing and just like becoming everything you become everything when you travel you become like a planner you become a mom a dad <laughs> a teenager like all these different things in one and it's just a really beautiful experience so I'm gonna sit here and finish my food. I don't this is the grass jelly. I chop it up and then I pour chocolate soy milk on top. Cause I'm worth it, I deserve it. I just love beverages with little jelly textures and creaminess. It's a vibe.